Thank you very much. And uh, I'm delighted, Minister, you're actually here tonight uh, because I think actually a Green Minister will actually make this happen. Um, I want to thank my Fianna Fáil colleagues for putting forward this uh, motion, a very, very important motion here tonight. And it's, been, it's very important for a lot of colleagues in this House. And it was so important that I felt a number of weeks ago I contacted Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael, Labour, all our senators in this House who are affected by this particular motion to see if we could get together collaboratively and work to make this an actual tangible goal and make it happen. So the motion, I welcome, the 50 kilometres and the 70 kilometres of zones look very pretty, but I wonder if it's practical. I'd certainly be happy to see it happen, but we are talking about hitting Carlingford with that, and a few more kilometres with your medium hop zone would be actually in the north of Ireland. I think the department should look and do, conduct some research to see where the need really is for these services. I know that Gormston, in County Meath, has the infrastructure to handle a much higher use of its train services there, and the need is there too. We could be stretching up as far as Laytown, and I know that Newbridge down south would benefit greatly from being included in the short hop zone. But the pricing structure must be right. I know many people travel to Balbriggan from County Meath and County Louth this time because of the fares. A, du a Dublin to Balbriggan return is 890. A Dublin to Drogheda return is 1950, 122% more. A Dublin to Gormanston is 1510. And a Dublin to Laytown is 1690 return. So there's a, if you're living in Meath, there's 100% more. If you're living in Louth, it's 120%, 122% more fares. So it's practical to put in these areas into this short hop zone. And I, and I know my colleague spoke earlier about uh, the Julianstown. 20, I think it's over 25,000 cars that pass through Julianstown every, every day. Most of them actually are travelling to train stations in Balbriggan, parking up in Balbriggan and, and getting the train in there. Or some of them are parking up in, uh, in Gormston, but parking up not in the car park that's there, but along the side of the road. And the residents that are living there on Station Road have been... I suppose that has been a massive issue for us as, uh, for when I was on the council. It was a massive issue with the ITA, the, the public parking, uh, the cost of public parking in, in, in most of these stations. It's 30, 35 euro a month. People just can't afford that on top of fares as well. So that's something that we need to, to, need to look at. Um, so the price structuring there needs to be looked at. Um, definitely the Mead Loud area is it, it would welcome the, these short hop zone fares. Um, but there's other, other issues as well I want to raise here. The, the fact that we don't have a train or a tram from our airport into Dublin City, it's just, it's unbelievable. You know, it's so ridiculous at this stage that we as a first world European nation do not have a direct train or a tram route from our national airport into our capital city. It's a, a complete anomaly when you look at almost all our other European capitals. I understand that our, no government wants to do it because of the cost, and you have to disrupt business and traffic and all of that, but realistically, it should be done. A way around that must be found. I spoke earlier about the, 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 the parking for, uh, fares at stations. Not everyone lives within walking distance of a station, so we shouldn't be punishing people for driving to their station and using public transport. So most people, they don't want to be driving 45 minutes or an hour um, stuck in traffic to get to their work. They'd love to take the train. So we need to encourage that. And we, and we do that by making public transport physically and financially accessible, safe and pleasant. The fare reductions across public transport have been wonderful. It will be interesting to see the data which comes out of that and to what increase we'll see the public transport take up. I'd love to see more innovative policies to make our public transport networks more and more attractive to users and uh, prospective users. If Fianna Fáil is going to make them affordable, maybe it's the Green Party that will make them first class. I think that uh, exchequer money and funding will be well spent if they can do that. Thank you. And thank my colleagues in Fianna Fáil for bringing that forward here tonight.